You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I was, you know, raised on bad coffee. I mean, I was always buying store brand and I would make it very, very strong. So you hear so, that? So, so, so yeah. But, but to say that a bad cup of coffee would ruin my day, you know, no cup of coffee could ruin your day, but saying, I mean, I've, I've, I've had good hotel coffee, bad hotel coffee, um, gas station coffee, mm-hmm. good and bad but gas I, station but coffee. I've, yep. but I've never said, Oh, this is horrible coffee. Um, I think this is horrible, but I've never been like, now my day is done because of it. No. 50% of people um, believe a good cup of coffee can turn their, well, worst day into a good one. Well, I can um, see where if you're having a bad day and you get a sip of a good coffee, it makes your day a little better. It's a little a little happiness in a cup. That's fair. 31% um, say their day can be ruined if their coffee isn't right. Now, I've, I've tried... Um, in, you know, hotels where you have the early flight, yes. um, where the, you know, the, um, the breakfast area isn't open yet. Mm-hmm. So you're stuck using the, uh, the little, uh, uh, coffee maker in the room, which yes. is the little pod thingies. And it's just, it's not the best. Yeah. The little teeny but tiny, it, but it's enough to get by. Yeah. It but, works. It's, it's not ideal, but you know, you're but, not, you're not to say that my day is ruined no. because of coffee. I don't know. 25% of people say they can't uh, tell if they received an incorrect coffee order be- because of the taste. I mean, some people say, yeah, I like to have this, this, and this. But, but you know, do you know that you, you got four sugars and not two or, you um, know, the I wrong think you sweetener? I think you can tell. I think you could tell if you got too much or too little sweetener. Yeah. Maybe oh, you yeah. don't know if it was the difference between three and four, but like, mm, this doesn't taste as sweet as usual. Don't forget, though, if the uh-huh. coffee's been... On the burner longer, sometimes that stronger coffee, yeah. if you get the normal, whatever, three sugars, it might taste like you didn't get enough sugar, but you did. But the coffee is a little pungent. 37% of iced coffee drinkers use sweeteners and creamers compared to 31% of coffee or hot coffee drinkers. I've never had the iced coffee thing. I don't drink that. But I know there's people who will have so many sugars. It's like sludge. It is. I've they, seen. They add so much to it. I've seen people do that. And I'm like, uh, that does not seem healthy at all yeah but I, but i can tell the difference between the flavor shots in the coffee and the swirl in the coffee yes and a lot of times i have to go when, when ordering in line at, at the drive through i have to tell them that um or you know pick one of the shots they don't have a swirl of because they'll inevitably put the swirl they, in it they will and mix it's it up not the same it's not very good it's a different kind of sweetness yeah. and like i will tell you as somebody who doesn't add sweetener or if i do i add real sugar when i get your pink packet crud I can tell instantly when yeah. it touches. I'm like, ah! oh, no, yeah. just no, no. Get more info on coffee right now. Yes, FM, Facebook, exit 967, yes, FM, and the Mercy in the Morning page at yesfm.com.